Hi there, my name is Sam, one of the founders of Instant, and I'm excited to announce the product repeater and collections feature. Let's dive in. In this example, I've built this beautiful product card, including the image of the product, the title, the price, and even the meta fields of this product. And now I would love to repeat this product card for my entire collection. And until now, this would require manual work. So you select a slide, you duplicate the slide, and then you connect a different product. But with the product repeater, this can be done in seconds. The product repeater works in the context of a collection. So this product card or slide is now connected to a individual product. So the first step is to disable this under Shopify content. Next up, we select the entire slider and then under Shopify content next to products, you can now also work with your Shopify collections. Let's click on collections and select the skincare collection. This slide now showcases the image of the collection and the title of the collection, but I want to showcase all the different products within this collection. So let's go back to this slide, the slide that we want to repeat, and then we can click on repeat on. And as we click on this, it will repeat the product card we have previously built on all the different products within this collection. Underneath content, you can limit the amount of products that are repeated. So let's say you have a t-shirt collection with 50 t-shirts. You might not want to showcase all of those t-shirts in a single slider. Then whenever you select a slide and make any changes, so let's say we change the uh, gap from 16 to 32, the changes will be applied on all the different product cards that are repeated, which will save you a lot of time. Next up, let's talk more about collections and go to this section right here. As mentioned before, with this update, you can now work with your Shopify collections. And when a container is connected to a collection, in this case, you can see it's connected to the skincare collection, you can access the same type of content as with products. So with this image right here, it's showcasing the image of this collection. When it comes to the title, it's also showcasing the collection title. And then for the button, when we go to interactions and then to the cart, we can add an action to view the collection. Last but not least, let's take a look at recommended products. So we open this product template, which is previewing a placeholder product, the Cavendish banana. And right underneath this buy box, I want to highlight recommended products. Where you can repeat products in the context of a collection, you can showcase recommended products in the context of a single product. And the reason for this is that Shopify connects recommended products to a single product and not to a collection. So let's say you're building a product page for this plant right here. And now you want to showcase recommended product based on that specific plant. So in this section, I want to do just that. So we can select the slide that we want to repeat, and then we can head over to repeat on, and then we can select repeat on complementary product or repeat on related product. Complementary products are products often bought in addition to a selected product, and you can set this up in Shopify. Related products are products that are similar to a selected product and they are auto-generated by Shopify. In this message, you can also see that the products shown in the canvas are illustrative and actual products will appear in Shopify once published. Showcasing recommended products, as you can see right here in this section underneath this buy box, can not only be done on product templates, but on any page or section, as long as it's connected to one product. And that's it for this video. I hope you have a good understanding of this new and exciting feature and good luck.